Many, many thanks, of course, going out to Chemistry and Storm for displaying, what can I say, dexterity of skills on the wheels of steel here at KISS 100. Welcome along, ladies. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Now, you've been busy girls as far as you've been working daytime at the Metalheads. Yeah, Metalheads has been keeping us pretty busy. Kicking um, off the streets, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, you could say that. And what, what sort of role do you have there during the daytime? Uh, mostly we take care of uh, the press and PR for the artists on the label. Um, we look after all the test presses and the mailing list. Of course, that's very important. Right, and what about your DJing work? Obviously, you're well known for your DJing as well. Yeah, we're very busy at the moment DJing. Uh, a lot of gigs during the week at the moment and also, you know, at the weekend as usual. Yeah. Right. Lots of people out there will probably want to know how, how did you actually originally start and as a team together as well? Well, we kind of started out together. Um, we obviously used to go raving and um, the kind of focal point was us, for us was going to rage every week at Heaven and uh, listening to Groove Rider and Fabio and I suppose they really turned us on to it and the more we went raving, the more we realised we stopped dancing and just kept going to look at the decks and see what was running. So in the end, we decided the best way to get on with it was just to kind of get some decks and see what was going on, really. So that's how we started, and we bought those in about late 91. Right, and you've been going since then, yeah? Yeah. And is it true right. that you actually uh, share your own record collection? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Only, we only have one collection of records. There's only, only the one? Yeah. I mean, do you ever play out separately at all, or are you always playing out as a team? No, never. We always play together. It's chemistry and storm. It yeah. behaves as one DJ, really, yeah. It's the chemistry behind it, presumably. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> and how do you feel about this the drum and bass scene catching on? You know, it seems to cross over into all sorts of different areas now. I mean, a, a lot of people who like techno music are sort of getting into drum and bass. It's yeah. like appearing daytime radio now. I think it's very healthy, really. It's just um, kind of proving the point that um, they're no longer just drum and bass artists, they're musicians as well, all the, all the producers, you know, making this stuff, basically, at the end of the day. and. It's been going for quite a long time now and a lot of people have just recently got turned on to it um, and that's a good thing, do you know what I mean? It just shows you that the music is spreading and, you know, people are feeling it kind of thing. Right, which artists do you think are going to stand out this year for you? Um, I think um, Votex album is going to be very interesting. Um, that's going to be coming out on Virgin um, sometime this year. Um, I think we're going to see a lot of interesting things from a lot of artists. I think Dillinger is going to come through very strongly this year and maybe get the recognition that he deserves. Um, obviously Goldie, <laughs> he's got his next yeah, album to um, come. There's some very exciting stuff from Dillinger around at the moment. I was going to actually ask you, I mean, what's it actually like working for Goldie? Um, How is he? It's interesting. <laughs> no, it's good. It's very, it's very exciting, do you know what I mean? I think um, all the artists on the label, you know, I want to give a big shout out to all the artists on the label. I think all of them are doing very inventive innovative stuff and they're really all of them pushing the boundaries out you know as far as they can really right do you actually get to listen to any other sorts of music at all or is it just really on the drum and bass sort of tip well at the moment we're still obsessed with drum and bass and to be honest we don't get much time although we'd like to we don't get much time to listen to other kinds of music but we're always keeping you know an ear open to what's happening out there. we tend to be um a bit you know drum and bass purist <laughs> we've been described <laughs> Do you actually get much hassle from um, a drum and bass fraternity and a loss of male adulation? Anything like adulation. that? Adulation? Yeah. I don't know about adulation. <laughs> <laughs> um, curiosity, maybe. Yeah, curiosity, maybe. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Um, on, you know, on that sort of tip, I mean, um, you're sort of recognised as a female duo. I mean, would you have any tips out there for any budding female duos? No, I don't think we've got specifically any tips for any buddy, budding female kind of people you know it's just like um it's the same rules apply to everybody whether you're male or female we don't really see it as a you know we're female so therefore we're different and we should be treated differently we just see ourselves as djs really so any females or any males who want to get on with it just get on with it really well yeah. that's, that's really good and is it true about um metalheads have now got a sub label yeah that's, edge. Right, that's razor's edge which is basically catering for um remixes um 
either produced by, re, you know, they're all remixed. The, the kind of common link is that they're remixed by Metalhead's artists kind of thing, but they don't have to be specifically tunes that originally were recorded for Metalhead's. Right. Yeah. Um, a question I always ask people, and I know I hate it myself, is, you know, just uh, name a couple of your favourite clubs. Well, obviously, I think for us, it's got to be the Blue Note. They said in unison. Sunday sessions. Right, do you ever get to tour abroad at all, play out abroad at all? Um, yeah, we're due to uh, go to Washington at the um, end of April, and we're going to Japan in June. Yeah. How do you think the actual American people will go down to America? Well, we've heard um, it's quite happening uh, that way. Right. Um, so. And Goldie yeah, seemed to have a lot of response on the tour, didn't he, to yeah, the show, so, yeah, you like know. feedback from that. That's really good. Okay, and where, where can people catch you in London, but obviously apart from Metalheads and Speed? And <laughs> well, this Saturday, um, we're at um, Desire, uh, that's Saturday the 13th, uh, for that Desire label launch, SUS. And that's at the Rocket? And uh, we're at Bagley's. Uh, yeah, Bagley's as well that night. Okay, very good. And one last thing I've, I've, I've forgotten to say actually is, um, could you actually give us a r quick rundown of what you actually played in your mix tonight? Yeah, we started out with um, a track by Jay Magic, which is coming out um, on his own label, which is Infrared. Um, we're not sure of a title. He was supposed to phone us with one. So, Jamie, <laughs> untitled. Um, the next tune was um, Goldie in the mix, um, a remix of Black Grape, uh, due to come out on MCA. The next one was a Bill Riley track um, entitled Digital Landscape. I'm not sure what that label is. I'm pretty sure it's a new label that Bill Riley's working on himself. He's previously recorded for Full Cycle Records. Um, the next one was Generations X-Files, the artist, and that should be coming out on Street Beats, which is a label coming out of vinyl distribution in Reading. The next one was Adam F. I'm not sure of the title, but that's um, the latest track he's done for Metalheads, which will be his first release on Metalheads. The next track I played was a Dillinger track. I've never had a title for it, and I'm really not sure what label it's coming out on. It's just um, awesome. Uh, next tune was a remix of Chemistry by Groove Rider, and that's due to come out on Razor's Edge. Um, the next, the last thing I played was This Is A Bad Remix. Again, another track from the album Goldie, and that's been remixed by Source Direct, and that will be coming out on Razor's Edge also. Moving over. <laughs> yeah, <it's true. laughs> um, I played uh, Terminator 3 by The Refuge Crew, of course. Uh, that's on Metalheads. Um, next track was In My Life by Lennon D. That's also on Metalheads. Next track was Machines by Doc Scott um, on Emotive. But, but that's the dub play. Um, next track was Vicious by Dillinger. That's coming out on Metalheads. After that, the St. Angel rollout, Goldie, that's coming out of Metalheads. Um, after that one was Destiny by Ed Rush, also his first Metalheads track. And then KJZ by Fotech, that's coming on Virgin. Um, the last track was by Goldie, it's called Manslaughter. Return to the scene of the crime. It's a prototype mix. It hasn't been properly finished yet. But. Okay, thank you very much for coming in tonight, Kiss 100. Would you like to say a quick hi to anyone just before you go? Just want to give a big shout out to um, all the artists at Metalheads. Um, just run through the list Doc Scott, Source Direct, Digital, Lemon D, J Magic, Hidden Agenda, Fotech, Dillinger, Peche, The Ruffage Crew, uh, The New Boys, Ed Rush, and Adam F. Um, big shout out to all of you, just keep coming with the tunes. Uh, we'd like to say um, hello to everyone at Groove Connection, hope you're all well. And also to Christian, Meredith, Gus and Matey. Okay, thanks very much once again for coming in tonight and I wish you all the best in the future. Thanks very much. Okay, thank, thank you. you.